Okay, cool. We're live. This is the first broadcast um, on Twitch. Uh, welcome to live at the from the live from the Imagoplex. Um, the Imagoplex, I think, is my word for the internet when it's used as a kind of system for generating associations and images um, and as a kind of combinatorial uh, matrix that you can kind of set. Um, to achieve certain results and purposes um, and what we're going to be tapping into the Imagiplex <laughs> and using it for today is um, to create a poetry kind of to, to uh, create a kind of audio visual uh, combinations to uh based on poetry readings found online so using found found media to create little kind of collages and montages um so we've got a packed program list today we're going to start off uh with a with david bromig i believe that's how you pronounce it that's probably not who's an american language poet um who was mainly active in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Um, and we're going to start off uh, just watching him read his poem. Then I'm going to try and do a live rendition of a kind of pre-planned uh, association work that I have made or kind of conceived in response to this uh reading on youtube and then um and then i'm going to play a pre-recorded version of that same association work um yes uh and the reason for the pre-recorded one is because we might encounter some issues with lag and buffering that will kind of derail the match of uh kind of line of poetry and uh, section of YouTube clip um, that I'm trying to kind of collage together, um, which could kind of disturb and uh, can't, yeah, ruin the overall effect that we're trying to aim. So that's a problem we're going to be dealing with tonight, um, probably across this broadcast. Um, so please bear with me. There's going to be some some jankiness um, because we are cobbling together associations in real time tonight so let's start the patient experiences his powerlessness vis-a-vis -vis the objectivity of the illness only because he is a subject condemned to passivity. In classical aesthetics, crisis signifies the turning point in a fateful process, not external to the identities caught up in it. Crises arise when the structure of the social system allows fewer possibilities for problem solving than are necessary to, to the continued existence of the system. Crisis states assume the form of a disintegration of social institutions, issue from unresolved steering problems. Identity crises are connected with such. The market secures the power, sanctioned in civil law, to appropriate surplus value for private use. Communication between participants is systematically distorted or blocked on pain of ruin. 
hypnosis. Okay. Cool. So we have now, that's the first section of today's stream, the first reading we've had, obviously. Cool. So now I'm going to, we're going to have a short um, interlude while I, sorry, I skipped, went a bit too early there. What you can now see on your screen is a um you now you've now got a picture of my paper because for the next piece um I'm going to be uh I'm gonna be just I'm, I'm not gonna there's no there's no kind of assemblage or kind of like set of um samples I've already picked for this one so it's going to be a live kind of construction or a live piece of planning um and it's probably going to be the meat of today's stream as we're going to watch this fred moton reading um of, of, a, of a poem and we're gonna come up with images and associations as we go and then hopefully by the end of this process we will have um something similar to uh what we just what we just witnessed what the da the david bromoig um one so i guess uh there's the opportunity here for people to send suggestions if you're watching um and to yeah and we're just going to work through it and we're just going to get into the poetry zone, really. Into the, into the dojo of association building. So you're going to see me write out probably each line of poetry, along with the ideas I have for possible connections we could draw with it. Um, yeah, so let's get into that now. We won't be talking too much now. Or I don't even know if it's well. This this what I'm getting ready to read is is, is called the Red Sheaves, and it's uh was very much inspired by uh, by the work and by the the chance I had to kind of um, talk with and and correspond with a great um, artist from the United States. Um, uh, named Jenny C. Jones. And uh, so, The Red Sheaves. We're walking an open diary. Inconstancy, which seems like exercise in parting, is...
I think this in the stream we're also going to have there's going to be an element of kind of patience and uh, just as we deal with the buffering, which is almost going to create a kind of contemplative kind of meditative. We're going to get into kind of mind state of kind of reflecting and thinking about the lines of poetry in a kind of, because it's because these breakages are going to be kind of enforced. So that's how I'm going to try and think about that to myself. We're going to incorporate these kind of technical difficulties and try and treat them as different ways of kind of sitting with these connections and these bits of poetry meaning. Hmm. We're walking an open diary and constancy that feels like an exercise in passing. walking in constancy. There we go. Okay. So that's going to be... ...really overlap and incline exercise in parting is really overlap and incline a velvet sound map of approach guys, it's Abby from How to House. Do you like to travel? What's your favorite part? Is it seeing amazing places, eating great food? Well, personally, I'm a fan of all of it, but I do have a not so secret. And make sure it's hanging evenly on all three sides. The next layer is a thin quilt or blanket. Now this is a key component of most hotel bedding because it's super warm and incredibly cozy. 
Line the quilt up with your top sheet, again, making sure the overhang is even on all sides. Hi, I'm Rajiv, and today we're going back to base. I'm a stickler for chores that have an impact on your life. Little things if it's big you know if you don't and you just throw it on there then you end up with this kind of thing and that's not good that's not how we do things one of my favorite poems is by Emily Dickinson oh. ample make this bed make this bed with awe in it wait for judgment break excellent and fair be its mattress straight be its pillow round no sunlight, yellow noise interrupt this ground. Oh, oh, there we go. Let no some, sunlight. Some intertextuality there. It's not straight. I think we're going to go there. That's perfect. What, what thing? Okay. Overlap and incline. I would have liked that to have been two people making the bed together. To kind of continue out that kind of parting. And that sense of. That, that 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 we as well who are involved in actually I'm not gonna show you I'm gonna try and keep up with explaining why I'm doing intro and do it. Seven thirty-nine bed making. We're walking an open diary in constancy that feels like an exercise in parting. It's really overlap and incline. Inviting sublorn attention in approach. Sound map of approach. Overlap and incline. A velvet sound map of approach. Okay. Okay. Hit velvet, and I immediately think about George Costanza in the episode of Seinfeld, where he says he just wants to drape himself in velvet. But I think the what's calling out to me more is this idea of the sound map. That's cheating using the word from pun in the search.
Emphasize the movement. Okay. Velvet sound map of approach. So I'm just going to try this camera on because I realise it's not very good image you guys are getting. That is much better, obviously. Uh, a little bit hovering. inviting sublorn attention in approach to write the movement of our viewing in the lorn attention in approach to write the movement inviting sublorn attention in approach
three lines and push them off their kill. to have caught some people tracking give that attention and that approach this is good enough we go I'd like to draw a, a connection between people hunting lines people looking at paintings <clears throat> there we go To write the movement of our viewing in the moment and apply and violently soften in our eyes. It shows our brightness and shows off in our movement of our viewing in the moment and in approach. To write the movement of our viewing in the moment. Actually, the Mondrian person staring at the Mondrian image actually works quite well for that. Move on to the next line. And apply and violently to soften our eyes. Is she a The applying of eyes and then the violent softening of eyes, which it seems most of saying this painting or this kind of like visual experience kind of imposes quite violently attaching to our eyes. Trying to think what could work with that violence. I'm thinking maybe a scope. Thinking maybe a, a scope. Is that a violent softness of the eyes? 
No, it's probably a violent hardness of basically. I'm also thinking the face hugger from Alien. For kind of what he's talking about, this painting kind of grabbing. Science. Let's just go for magnifying glass. There we go. Not really what I was looking for, but. No good at all. For applications of eyes. Oh, no, that's cool, isn't it? There we go, that's nice, I like that. And the violin softening. Driven by the verbs, this poem we've got a sequence of a lot of actions kind of layered on top of each other, walking, overlapping, inclining, approaching, inviting, moving, applying, softening, and these kind of actions are distributed down from the painting. To the person looking at it, it's not sure. Yeah, kind of originating in, in both in, in both items. Let's move. Uh, so I want yes. Yes, I guess it.
our moment that's our violent softening of the eyes everybody the face hugger as objects of attention we'll do one he applies more. and softens brightness and shadow and apply and violently to soften our eyes as she applies and softens brightness and shadow. Quickly got to get a time time stamp. Okay, so this poem is a written, is dedicated to the artist Jenny C. Jones, and that is the she that Moten is referring to um, in this line. So I'm going to get an image of her ideally applying some paint. Um, and I think I'm just going to leave it without even getting her applying it. I think I'm just going to hope that this one calls back to our infrared image a little bit. Wonderful. Okay. As our stream crashed a little bit. No, we're still here. We're still here. Okay. So with that, I'm gonna we're gonna take a break. We're gonna have a short interval. I'm gonna myself a cup of tea and go for a cigarette while we do this. We're going to come back, we'll do a few more lines of Ted Moten, then we'll put the whole thing together and hope that it isn't ruined by suffering, which it may well be, but hopefully by seeing the process unfold, we form about the poem in some kind of weird way that people don't usually think about a poem, but we've found some kind of operation or kind of exercise. We may or may not have. As intermittently. So now I guess I want to leave some what well, during this interval period. I want to put some uh, things on the screen that will help us think about the relationship between image and sound and how they come together to mean one particular thing in either a kind of um, very linear, kind of cohesive way or in a less organized way. Um, by just playing some footage from some poetry readings and some performances. The first one is gonna be Eileen Miles reading in New York. New York in the 70s. And I'm going to 
a soft cup of tea while we do that. That's the only hitch I slowly side. And another near adventure was bypassed. Like Melantha, this evening's paper adventure, I crave excitement, even if it's throwing twigs into my own conflagration. I miss Dreyer's Joan of Ox tonight. At 8.15, I was talking to Richard, watching the minute and sweeping away that silent evening. I'm prepared to be a saint. I received a pamphlet in the mail last week concerning sainthood, concerning the particular sainthood of Mother Seton. And I was saying it does not mean the church recognizes that a Catholic convert has made good by American standards. It means that an American wife, mother, educator, religious convert to Catholicism, and heroic woman has made good by God's much more exacting standards. It is ample reason for American rejoicing. I get into the kitchen in search of beer. Oh no, the green court of Ballantown is still last night. I have so many sweaters Richard Arden the sweater when she has it, but the point is he never is green. Everyone knows how is it that I could never see it. Perhaps you were a bud, my thumb scraping across his balloon, or the cutting of cardboard that it deserves. Sounds of squeaking styrofoam would convince me to betray my deepest secrets, and sometimes writing poems, oh, I would undo those sounds. Mayonnaise is offensive, and I hate gold jewelry sitting on tables while I eat. I remember how you grimaced at the smells of my hallways, and I added a check on your manifold paranoia. It's nice to dance with women, but nobody's aiming. And red hats only cause internal discomforts and short coffee breaks tomorrow. What would John Ashbery say at a time like this? A ticking that improves at the gleaning. Some eagerness, of course, is gathered up with tomorrow's wash and a meal with several friends. The glow. I feel woozy, walk down gorgeous, soft, tree-lined streets in the dark, cushy, as dark rows of trees are stroking the wind, or the wind stroking them. Um, so that one was called Evening, and this is Night. Moving right along. Tom Dick or Harry, originally from Ealing, not Manny. Yo, yo. I was like, I was like, I was like, YTG. G, well out, YTG. G, well out, YTG. Everybody knows my team, YTG. I had your girl pinging off my BB. So I off from the head to the feet. Everybody knows my team, my team. My team YTG, then we switched it, well like YTG, G, well like YTG, track suit style leaders. I had your girl pinging off, but not anymore, cause I got an iPhone, I got the girlfriend on the WhatsApp though, everybody knows my team, my team, my team, my team, my team, YTG like, mmm, what you mean bruv? I was at bad on Bray, you know me, PK, no IC3. Oh, quick time, tell a boy about so. Don't act stupid. I'll tell a man, I can tell a man. CL, CL. Tell a man, shut up. L, S, N, K, A, Liverpool, Gaffer. I had your girl pinging off my BB like, mmm. What, what you mean, mean bro? I was like, like bad on break, you know me, PK, no, my seat. Warming. Scholar. 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 Mm. Mm. What you mean, bro? I, I was, was like, like bad on break, you know me, PK, no, I see free. Oh, quick time, tell a way about so. Don't ask stupid. I'll tell a man, like a tower man. CLCL. Tell a man, shut up. LSAKA, Liverpool, Gaffa. I had your girl pinging off my BB. What you mean, bro? I was like, bad, don't break, you know me, PK, no, I see free. Quick time, tell the boy about so don't act stupid. I'll show a man, like a shower man. Tell a man, shut up. L-S-A-K-A. I had your girl pinging off my BB like, no, no, don't talk like that. Cripple, I make a walk like that. The man I tell him at a court like F that I came to walk like I was like, what? What? Don't talk like that. Cripple, I make you walk like that. The man I tell him at a court like F that I came to walk like I was like, what? What? About slide in the blam. Straight in the face, I flam. Them when I act like I don't know, they do you walk out. I was like, what? What? I'm about to slide with a blam. Straight in the face, I flam. Them when I act like I don't know, what they do you walk out. I was like, what? What? I'm about to try LS. Mmm, Ruba, swipe your legs. Don't talk man that I don't slap jaws. I'm friendly, I just high five them. What? I'm about to try LS. Mmm, Ruba, swipe your legs. Don't talk man that I don't slap jaws. I'm friendly, I just high five them. What? I'm about to fight my dons. Said him I can high five God. Oh, quick time, hang him on the line like what's in you where the guy but now the line's gone. Don't try fight my yo. Sound of the surf. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, all of that. It's a bit shaky right now, but we're getting into it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like. I'm about to fight my dons. Send him a high five, good. Oh. Quick time, hang him on the line like washing. You were the guy, but now the light's gone. Oh. So don't try fight my dons. Send him a high five, good. Oh. Quick time, hang him on the line like washing. You were the guy, but now the light's gone. Oh. 
walk and I'm soaking crumbs. I put him under a bus. The man I go along, they're gonna put me down in the vehicle. I was like, what? What? I'm a soaking crush. I put him on the bus. No man, I go along, and they're gonna run me down in a vehicle. I was like, what? What about you spray heat? You get the 9 plus 218s. Them are relying all over the Twitter. Uh-huh. Like stop that, you ain't grease. What about you spray heat? You get the 9 plus 218s. Them are relying all over the Twitter. Uh-huh. Like stop that, you it's ain't grease. Man, I'm really gonna know that I mean it. I can kill it so freaky. It's the double that's slow. When I get skippy on the beat, it might catch a soul. See aunties, uncles, and dads, you know. I am bad, you know. And he had a BB if the back is bold. Yeah, the back is bold, but I don't mean see for the pub. It's not so okay, yeah. It's all bo 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 bo. Said it ain't style, I never had time for a wifey. Camden Town on the front. You find me, but so low when the club, yeah, shake on the leg with the lighting, brownies, whiteies, I like my clothes, no safeties. Okay. <clears throat> nice. That's the end of the interval. Just gonna go back to a bit of rain just to get us back into a mode. Back to mode. We're going to do a few more lines. Fred Moten's poetry. Fire up the Imagiplex again. And then try and make our um. Try and pull it together and hopefully have something to present. So, last line we had was as she applies and softens brightness and shadow and we just had the image of a Jenny C. Jones painting which is the artist who this poem is um, dedicated to and it's kind of produced in tribute to what's it going to be So on to the next line. Same off. Shadow in emulsion. Grave fly rough compliance. Grave and fly in rough compliance. As she applies and softens brightness and shadow in motion. Grave and fly in rough compliance. Sharing trembling and cusp in ten unknown parts toward them as we practice saving differences and quiet stride. I'm Should we take I'm screaming on Twitch currently? I can't speak. Why? You're live, you're live right now. Oh, I'm right in the middle of something now. Could could you come could I do it in half an hour? Is that okay? Okay, give me half an hour and then I'll come and find you. Yeah, I'll call you when I'm done. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so I'll put a time limit on our stream tonight. Okay, back to Fred Moten. Off our shoes is in quiet stride. Should we 
practice saving cusp and tending unknown paths toward them as we practice. Uh, or I don't even know if it's well. This this is what I'm getting ready to. We're walking an open diary. In constancy, which seems like exercise in parting, is really overlap and incline. A velvet sound map of approach, inviting sublorn attention in approach, to write the movement of our viewing in the moment and apply and violently to soften our eyes as she applies and softens brightness and shadow and emulsion, grave and fly in rough compliance. Two more lines of this. Sharing trembling cusp, intending unknown partners toward.
thank you to anybody who's been watching, for making it through the buffer storm, thinking about lines of poetry. the gaps Saving differences. Alright, All right, that was it. Okay, so now I'm going to go back through every one of those videos and make sure we're all at the right time for each one and then I'm going to try and redo the poem moving along each video section by section so we're on 7.39 for that we're on yep that was right that's right on medieval person wearing glasses 
most, yes, it looks like they fell on the way to the point of Go. Now we need Jenny C. Jones, and then we can begin. I'm going to play the Fred Moten reading at quite slow. I think I'm going to put it down to 0.75 speed to give time for the loading to hope we get some kind of simultaneousness in the final product. But you're going to have to bear with me if we don't. What we might end up having is a kind of drag or a kind of lull while I guess the videos respond to the lines in Moton's poetry at a delay which will be a kind of maybe quite an interesting experience of meaning kind of spreading out and it means there'll be a mismatch but that could be quite fun so here we go Let's see what I've come up with. Yeah, I'm putting it on. Jeez. And it's uh was very much inspired by uh by the work and by the, the chance I had to kind of um, talk with and, and correspond with a great um, artist from the United States um, uh, named Jenny C. Jones. And uh, so the Red Sheaves. We're walking an open diary in constancy which seems like exercise in parting is really overlap and incline, a velvet sound map of approach inviting sublorn attention in approach to write the movement of our viewing in the moment and apply and violently to soften our eyes as she applies and softens brightness and shadow and emulsion, grave and fly in rough compliance, sharing trembling cusp and tending unknown partners toward them. Let's go. Talk with and, and correspond with a great um, artist from the United States um, uh, named Jenny C. Jones. And uh, so, the Red Sheaves. We're walking an open diary in constant which seems exercise in parting is really overlap, incline, a velvet sound map of approach inviting sublorn attention in approach to movement of our in the moment and apply in violent ways of the eyes as she emulsion even fly in rough compliance sharing trembling cusp toward them as we the differences in quiet stride should we take off our shoes Make up for you. Don't smoke. Loosen as we keep turning cube in continual return of leaving, being sensorium's very aura. To 
scratch and spin, still being stranger in that manner with those manners that they measure somehow mistaken the shards of the angles that thus gently apply angles of our turning. Okay, so I'll come to the stream as well. Okay. Hello. So it's difficult to say whether that worked. I don't know if it did. Obviously the buffering is a bit of a challenge. Doing this live in the future I might have to present um stuff that's already being produced in this kind of way, but I just wanted to give you guys a sense of the of the kind of process so that maybe you could do it yourself. And you know, it's just a nice kind of thing to do on a Sunday night to kind of end up on a little research track guided by um a wonderful uh piece of poetry from a from a, a wonderful poet's mind. The final piece that I have already put together it's already done. So I'm just gonna loop it a few times for you guys to experience this one. This is gonna be um an Ezra a reading of Ezra Pound's Canto or XLV. Any Roman numerals people feel free, any Roman numerals chatters, feel free to let me know what number that is, XLV. We're gonna watch a kind of associate what do I call them association work a pre-recorded one obviously after having just shown you guys the the planning process a kind of um uh live construction and a kind of reading of some kind and a searching you know a few things and a buffering and a waiting activity now we're going to finish with a finished product with a presentation of a pre-recorded version of some association work because obviously these association works um they change every time every time you every time you, uh, you make you kind of perform one i suppose the the speeds are off the the cuts are off um so it's difficult to repeat the same one twice especially when internet speed is also coming into it now and i'm going to leave you guys thank you so much for watching i'm going to leave you with ezra pounds with uzura with Uzura hath no man a house of good stone, each block cut smooth and well fitting, uh, that delight might cover their face. With Uzura hath no man a painted paradise on his church wall, harp as elite, or where virgin receiveth message and halo projects from incision. With Uzura seeth no man Gonzaga his heirs and his concubines. No picture is made to endure nor to live with, but it is made to sell and sell quickly. With Uzura sin against nature is thy bread ever more of stale rags. Is thy bread dry as paper with no mountain wheat, no strong flour? With Uzura the line grows thick. With Uzura is no clear demarcation, and no man can find sight for his dwelling. Stone cutter is kept from his stone. Weaver is kept from his loom with Uzura. Wool comes not to market. Sheep bringeth no gain with Uzura. Uzura is a murrain, Uzura blunteth the needle in the maid's hand and stoppeth the spinner's cunning. Pietro Lombardo came not by Uzura, Duccio came not by Uzura, nor Pierre de la Francesca, Juan Bellin not by Uzura, nor was La Calunia painted. 
Came not by Uzora Angelico, came not Ambrogio Predis. No church of cut stone sign the damo may fake it. Not by Uzora Saint Trophim, not by Uzora Saint Hilaire. Uzora rusteth the chisel, it rusteth the craft and the craftsman. It gnaweth the thread in the loom. None learneth to weave gold in her pattern. Azure hath a canker by Uzura, Karamas is unbridled. Emerald findeth no memling. Uzura slayeth the child in the womb. It stayeth the young man's courting. It hath brought palsy to bed and lieth between the young bride and her bridegroom, Contra Naturam. They have brought whores for Eleusis. Corpses are set to banquet at behest of... I... Ooh! Uzura. And so that you don't continually misunderstand, usury and interest are not the same thing. Usury is a charge made for the use of money, regardless of production and often regardless even of the possibilities of production.